Hi guys. So today's video, I'm going to make two cards with one stamp set. So I'm using Lawn Fawn's Happy Harvest and I've got some distressings. Some of them are oxides, a couple of oxides in um, fossilized amber and tumbled glass. And then of course, good old faithful um, vintage photo, which I don't think I actually landed up using. <laughs> yeah doesn't happen often on these cards at the moment <laughs> so um but it's always that just shows you it's always on my desk <laughs> ready to use because it's what I like to do so I have um I've used a grassy border die just to cut a um a strip of grass there for the the what will become the sky on this first card and I actually use some square stitched dies you can just cut square pieces of cardstock or rectangular for the other card um, and just sort of you don't have to use a die set for this it's very basic um, shapes and so I cut them out because it has the stitching I cut them out more than once so that I could get the grassy border to have the stitching around the edge as well so that's just an added little thing um, but you you really don't need that you can completely like I say, just cut some cardstock up so that it's um, square or rectangular, whatever shape you're doing. Um, I tried to <laughs> use my um, distress sprayer here. Bit pointless because it's not watercolor paper or paper that reacts really well with moisture. So it's just box standard cardstock. So it, it didn't actually, I think it's Nina cardstock, but it didn't really do anything the the fossilized amber ones the grassy bit you can kind of see that a little bit it's sort of changed effect a little bit but nothing major and on the sky tumbled glass bit you can hardly see anything on it <laughs> so <laughs> it was a bit pointless on my part so i'm just putting this onto a slightly bigger um navy piece of cardstock and um, I'm just going to, I'm still trying to figure out where I want everything. And I had an idea in my head um, of kind of what I wanted to do. And just, you know, if you run out of ideas and you're not sure where to go and what to start with, because sometimes we have those moments where we just don't know, you know, you lose your crafty mojo. Um, I either go to Pinterest, I'm always on Pinterest looking for ideas because there's tons and tons of them on there. Or if it's a specific company like Lawn Fawn or, you know, Tim Holtz or whoever, I will go to their um, YouTube channels or their websites and and their blogs. They often have a blog attached to it as well. And I'll try and get some ideas from there. Um, these two obviously come from the Happy Harvest video from um, Lawn Fawn. But my cards look, even though I've done a very similar thing, they still look different to Lawn Fawns. But this idea is completely cased from them. So thank you, Lawn Fawn. Because <laughs> I really, I love the stamp set, but I just didn't know what else to do with it. <laughs> so, And I have, what I do is I grab a whole bunch of stamp sets or dies or whatever it is, and I grab them out. And I go, that's what I'm making my videos on. That's, you know, those are the things I want to use for this year's Halloween um, series or, or Christmas series or whatever it is. And this was one of them because I didn't get to use it last year. I've had this for over a year. Didn't really get to use it last year. And I really love the stamp set. So I dragged it out and went, right, what do I do with it now? Because now I've, you know, waited a year to use this thing. Um, specifically for Halloween, fall kind of you know kind of projects and I still had no idea what I was doing with it so hence why I cased lawn fawn <laughs> so, I think it's okay to do that I think um you know as long as you're not taking it as your own idea is you know especially if you've you've borrowed the idea from someone else then just let people know that that's what you've done um, and I think that's okay to do um, we like sharing in this community so I think that's a lovely thing so so if anybody borrows this idea from me it's actually from Lawn Fawn <laughs> but if you went and had a look at the actual video you'll know that it's you'll see it's, it's com they're completely different even though they're very similar if that makes sense anyway so I'm just deciding where I want everything and I've, I've stuck most of it down flat um, except 
these little guys these are going to be popped up on some foam tape um super super easy um yes i use a ton of <laughs> foam adhesive i can't help myself um and that's why i think liquid glue is also quite a good idea to have in your stash because it's it holds really well so once you've stuck something down with it it's unless it's a repositionable adhesive it's going to stay stuck um, so liquid is always is always better in my opinion but i do love foam tape and i do love double-sided tape for the ease and the convenience of it um, and foam tape always gives you just that little bit of dimension without it being overpowering if that makes sense so i'm just putting my little scarecrow on the little flying bird and then the one that's going the uh, crow sorry and the one that's going to be sat on on him um, I also used some Copic markers to color these images in and I did that off screen just because I wanted to save a bit of time um, especially doing two cards and so I just used Copic markers um, and some and they are stamped on Nina cardstock and then I used my brother scanning card to cut them out so I don't know whether you would have noticed but some of my what's it called <laughs> my corn mm, in South Africa you call them millies <laughs> but those like stemmy little things in the background those yellow things they didn't actually cut out that well <laughs> because they um, the scanner obviously being a paler color it obviously took a bit of uh, like maybe it didn't quite see the edges as well but pretty good like I'm still well impressed with the scanning cut right so card number two what I've done is I've cut another stitched panel and I was just showing you there that I also used that same stitched rectangle to uh, like edge or put the stitching onto the pieces that are needed for the panel. So for example, the fence panel, I die cut the fence panel out, it's also a lawn fawn die, and then I ran it through with the stitched rectangle so that the stitching's along the edge and it's the right width for the card. I did the same thing with the gross, grassy border die. I cut it out twice, you'll see in a bit. And then I did the exact same thing. I cut the, well, in fact, I, I think I did the, I cut another panel, stitched panel, and then cut the grassy borders out. Um, I also made some marks on the this main panel with the sky. Um, I don't know if you can see them, they're little black marks, so that I could line up the fence. The fence needed to be, when I was gluing it down, just needed to be a little bit higher than the grass. Um, it, it, it'll make sense in a minute. So I just marked it so that I knew where I was going to put it back after I'd inked. Um, you're not going to see any of that, so I wasn't worried that I'd use the pen or anything, but you can use a pencil and then you can just rub it out. So I've got my little fence panel there. And there's some more of those, um, oh, I don't know what they're called. Le corn, leaves, uh, mm. leaves of corn, leaves of corn, leaves of corn, leaves, what are they called? I can't remember. Anyway, someone will shout at me, I'm sure. So, <laughs> and I've got some sunflowers here as well. Um, same as the other one. These are, all the stamps are from the Happy, Far Happy Harvest um, stamp set. So, you know, is two card ideas from one stamp set. I mean, I think it's great. So there's my two borders, my grassy borders. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put things and how I want to, or where I'm going to put the sentiment as well, because I need to be able to put that in somewhere. And uh, I, it turns out I like it in the middle. And for some reason, I had to take everything off <laughs> to be able to do this. So for both sentiments, I'm using some Versafine Onyx Black Ink. It's just a really good black ink. Um, I, ju I just love it. I think it's really, really good. It's like a nice, solid black ink. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. <laughs> so even the, the um, what will be the second grass, um, so the slightly taller grass, um, I will land up lifting that slightly higher as well just because I needed a bit more spacing and it makes um, you know makes it look more realistic 
these are things that you'll get to get used to once you start playing with things like this and you know start placing things you can move them around and it's it's good it's all good and um just a tip <laughs> with with burst finding it does take a little while to dry so uh yeah try not to put your finger in it when it's still wet <laughs> like i did so it's a bit smudged but i don't care it's fine it's fine so just getting some more things in here um get my sunflowers on is that like saying getting your freak on i don't know <laughs> just <laughs> That kind of just came to my mind. <laughs> Some sort of a random thing to say. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so here's the grassy borders. And I, I wondered whether I should pop them up with some foam tape. And then I just decided that actually it's going to be nice, nice and, and flat for this one. So I've got two, two bits of grass there. And do you see how just slightly raising one the one that's sort of behind the front one, the, so the second one in, how it just makes a difference when you raise it slightly higher. Um, just gives you a bit more dimension without even putting any dimension onto the card. Just, you know, not using any foam tape or anything like that. Um, sticking it flat, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and again, just trying to work out where to put my little wheelbarrow. That's not a wheelbarrow, but you know what I mean. <laughs> My little wheel cart thing with the pumpkins. Has anybody started decorating for Halloween? I know not everybody does Halloween things, but I dragged my decorations out last weekend. And that's kind of where they've stayed. So, <laughs> so I haven't done anything else with them, but they're down. I'm happy about this. They're, they're out in the loft and they are in my craft room ready to unpack. So I think it's because I've still got my summer um, cushions downstairs and I'm like, it's no, it's it's September, it's got, it, no, it's wrong, it's wrong somehow <laughs> to have summer cushions out when it's technically autumn in my head. So just deciding where to put the last few pumpkins and I thought they'd look quite cute in the grass. I thought there was quite a nice little spot to put them. You know when you play around with things and you put things in and oh and then went to stick it and the way it landed up being in the grass it didn't I don't know it's it's some I don't know if it's the white edging but it just didn't look quite right <laughs> so <laughs> but it's fine it's fine still looks cute so I'm just going to stick this to a standard A2 size card um, the first card was a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card so it's like an A2 that's been trimmed a bit and um, that's pretty much it and because I've got my sentiment on the outside of this one I don't feel like I need one on the inside you can totally put one on the inside as well you can do both or one on the inside one on the outside um, you know it, it's up to you completely up to you but I always feel like when a card doesn't have one on the outside it bothers me <laughs> so so I prefer them when they've got a sentiment on the outside but they both turned out really cute and I think because the other one's smaller um, it works having the sentiment on the inside so I hope you've enjoyed this guys it's a two for one here um, and I hope that you like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from me I will see you in the next one guys happy Halloween happy fall happy everything bye